Hi, welcome back to Bransford. We're out here in a um, section of the nursery that we call California, um, which is low tunnels. So you'll see behind me the um, West Country Loopings that in the background last on last week's video, um, the guys were just cleaning up, tidying and labelling and bringing out here. So the idea is these tunnels, they're open at the end. You can see the sides are open to two, three foot off the ground. So get some good airflow through them. Keeps the temperatures cold and keeps the plants growing hard. So they tidy the plants up and as you can see, these have been overwintered the West Country, so this one is um, Tequila Flame, lovely sort of pink and yellow mix in um, the flower. And um, as you can see, lovely bushy crowns to that, so that'll start as the days warm up and get longer, just start filling out now, you can get a lovely stocky plant ready to go into garden centre, so say, in two or three weeks we'll expect and they'll be ready to go. Um, we've got four tunnels like this, um, yeah, no, five tunnels sorry, of these. Um, with all the different varieties in the West Country range that we grow, which is a really successful promotion and has been for two or three years now. So yeah, we'll keep you informed on that one. Um, looking good wise, we've put a good um, number of things on this week, so I'll run through them quite quickly and just show you. First of all, our two litre Leptospernums. So this one's Martinii, loaded in bud and flower. Um, also Red Damask is loaded in bud and flowers as well, with that lovely sort of really deep, deep red um, flower to it. And finally, red enzyme as well, loaded in bud and the flowers are just starting to open on there. So it's a good mixture, good range of stocky, two litre um, leptospernum collection, three varieties, red damask, red enzyme and martinii, all starting to show colour, will look great on the shelves in the plant area. Um, good plant, um, sort of stalwart plant of gardens for many years now, um, Lavatera, so this one's Barnsley. Um, in 3 litre and we've also got Rosia which is online as well. Lovely stocky plants again, nice bushy, nice number of breaks in there and being grown under cold polythene so they're ready to go out into plant areas now. <coughs> Coming from a similar environment to these with the low tunnels um, is Poppy Patty's Plum. Again a 2 litre plant and just starting to form bud in there but a nice chunky crown just been tidied up after the winter, good overwintered plants and ready to go into garden centres for next week. Uh, also put online um, a good Bransford exclusive, um, which is Cenothus Lemon and Lime. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so we introduced this five, six years ago now, um, and it's got this lovely sort of smallish leaf, so I suggest it's going to be hardier than most variegated Cenothus, so this time of year it's perfect to go out into plant areas. Um, and it's got this lovely sort of gold um, lime coloured sort of margins on the leaf with a dark centre to it. And unlike a lot of variegated um, Ceanothus that don't flower so well, lemon and lime really does have profusion of flowers later on in the spring, so sort of May time. That would just matter those typical Ceanothus blue flowers that you see on the old varieties, conches and things like that. Moving away from that, I'm back onto something a bit more sort of, again, typical shrubby sort of thing, but um, Limium lasianthum has gone online this week as well, looking absolutely um, lovely, lovely silvery foliage. Um, bushy two litre plant, three litre plant should I say, and again grown under this sort of environment so tough to go straight out into plant areas now. Back onto herbaceous for a second then and our um, crop of geranium chocolate candy has gone online for delivery next week as well. This has got this lovely dark chocolatey coloured foliage and this year it's in a one litre crop. Traditionally we've grown it in a two litre um, but as we've got geranium purple passion and pink spice also in a two litre we wanted to do something to differentiate it, so dropped it into a one litre for more of a price pointed plant. Um, but again, lovely foliage on there, nice stocky plant, and more and more foliage coming up. So, we're going to get a really good crown on that. And then finally, two new Hebes, well, not new, but new for this week. Two new Hebes have gone online. Um, again, good old one, the one that started a lot of it at Bransford, um, Hebe Rosie. Um, still sells well after 20 odd years of in production now, but really good plant. So, that's Hebe Rosie. And excuse me. Um, also, Hebe Blue Star has gone online, which is great. Um, I really like this plant. It contrasts really well to some of the dark, the Caledonias and the Pascals and Dark Angels and things that are out there at the moment. So, it really help, helps and aid in uh, merchandising the plant. So, a good selection online there for this week. Um, I think there's a few more things going to be on for next week. Looking at the crops, um, these longer days now, lovely sunny days, we start to warm things up and get things going. So, we'll see you next week. See you then.